final farewell to Dupuis Family Campground. Cake and I actually love it and highly recommend it. If you're on motorcycles, a pop-up camper tent, no generators allowed, pretty quiet. Only thing is you have to go to a Dupuis non-equestrian campground to take a shower. So I would suggest have your own showers with you. We out. See you guys at the next one, which also is free, 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 free. We have arrived at our next spot, Green Swamp Wilderness Hampton Track Wilderness Preserve here. And we will be here for seven days. And of course, it is free. And the other biker right there rolling out. How you doing? And we got to get the cold. As with all these places in Florida that ran by the Water Matter District, you register and get a cold and it's absolutely free. So make sure you go online and check with, I don't know what district this is. I don't know if it's South Florida Management Water District or West or I don't know. But this campground is in between, hold on. Campground is in between Orlando and probably about 40, maybe 40, 50 miles from Tampa. So we're in Central Florida right now. So let me go check and see if I got the right code and get us in. Looks like we're gonna be riding on kind of dirt. I don't know, ride a squeeze through this. We probably could go through that one. I'll check it later. As soon as I find a code. This should be it. Got it. Okay, our code works. And now we're going in. Well, first time camping here, obviously, so you guys get to see it as we go through. But we got to close the gate behind us, so. My gloves back on. Yeah, I don't know how far down it is to the actual campground. I'm going to stop it. One mile from here. Okay, I'm going to go and look at that board over there also. Cake's telling me one mile from destination, so one mile from the gate. It looks like it get pretty bad when it rains. And our last campground, we had two days of some serious rain. So this gate locks has a blue tab on it, which when I looked at my email, I don't think it mentioned that. Probably did, maybe I just overlooked it. Let me close it behind me. Southwest Florida Management water management district. So it's still Southwest Florida. I thought it would be central. All right, let's go and see if they have a campground host. We'll check them with the campground host and then find us a spot. 75 degrees, <laughs> that's what's up. All right, roll on, baby. Copy that, hold on all right. So far, it looks like it's gonna be more pine cone than anything else or pine trees than anything else easy riding oh hard compact I like this hope it's the same when we get inside the campground copy road debris on the right uh oh look like it's getting thick up here yep <laughs> I'm going a little bit over to the right. I mean, to my left. That way, if I need to, I just ride in the grass and got to worry about those hills and humps and bumps and bumps on the boulevard. And of course, she's pulling bubbles. So even if her, yeah, you got some craters. Riding on the moon, people riding on the moon. <laughs> Gold winds can do everything. And we done put our bike through some stuff on this trip or what, baby? Yeah, all the way to the left looks smooth, super smooth. You might, you might want to go all the way to the right on yours and see what it look like. Whew. Yeah, if I came in your track that the time that didn't work. <laughs> okay, I see number two. Say trail. I was trying to make sure that didn't say cap. Distance to destination. 
0 0.4 miles. A little under half mile, we should be at our location. And as you can see, it is a smooth, easy ride. Obviously, we had a little craters we had to <laughs> avoid. And she tell me, ooh, I see it. A big giant one right down on her right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh, four-wheel drive. But, you know, it's no sand compared to the other one we was in where the sand was spinning all tires and slipping. But fortunately, we know how to ride in sand. Hold on the right copy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, this is not bad. This is not bad at all. Free, 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 free. Like getting a little bit more. Oh, about the same. I'm about to say, look like it's getting a little bit more gravel, but it looks like about the same. Zero point one mile to destination. I don't know. I don't see no signs. I see something blue up there. So I'm assuming that's going to point us to the campground. I think we're just veering all the way to the left. What does that sign say? Equestrian Primitive Campground. Yes, that's where we hit it. And we are here. So we're gonna ride around and find us a spot. I don't see no campground host we should be checking in with, not yet anyway. And I don't know if they're numbered or not. People probably wonder, what are they doing here in motorcycle? We do not want that spot. I can see a lot of water piles up there. Bring it in, bring it out. I like a little pavilion right there. A couple of families here. I see a Cruise America rental. The rental? Where? Okay, I see. Yeah, I heard the water. I heard the water was not potable here. I'm not sure. I heard it wasn't. I'm not sure. Everybody's got to go around it. So, back up in there or straight up with that way. Let's, let's go. Ooh, they got some serious wood over there to the right. Yep, go to the right. It's better better on the right. Looks like a vaulted toilet here. Yes. And we see what this sign say before we go through all this mud. And a big old dog jumped up. Dog jump up to get beat down. Oh, same thing. Bring it in, bring it out. So this whole circle right here is what we're looking at. How about right there? You see what I'm talking about? So let me just go right here. Stay right here. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna see how all the, the the road is right here first. Make sure it's good enough. It ain't sinking and we ain't dropping. There's a water spigot back here also. Two tables. Seem like every site have two, two tables. Non-potable water. Do not drink. Okay. Um let me go back. I'm going to come back towards you and go back the other way and see what we can find a better one. Remember, right there to my left is a lot of mud. Okay, over here. Kind of in the middle where I'm going now. Yep, if you come this way, see where that mud is? Just turn right there and they got a fire ring and a water. Why does it seem like it's fall here? This place is covered with leaves. No. I guarantee, watch when you stop because the leaves are kind of deep. Make sure you do a controlled stop. I'm going to face my bike outward and you do the same. So when we decide to pull out, we're just going right to that road, straight in front in front of us. There we go. Yeah, just come. But well, actually, you can stop by the table and we figure out where we're going to put the tent. All right. I don't know what under here look like. I hope my bike don't drop. I look good, look good. So apparently you don't check in with a host here. And I don't know how many sites, I'm guessing. 12, how many you will say? 
So just leave, leave that right there. And we'll, since we're gonna be in VA and space, we'll put it up kind of right here. And they got a water right there, non potable, right there, non potable. One, two, over there, one, two. So right here. And turn it off. Here's our location. There aren't any, not one single spot that says any numbers. So we don't know how many campsites there are here. We know there's a restroom over there. Look like another restroom over by that pavilion. And seem as though there's approximately 15 tables and water spigot here, but it says non-potable. Do not drink. So we, even though we have water filters, we can take care of that. Anytime we drink out of rivers, <laughs> we all good. So we're gonna set up and uh, get back to you guys later. So what you're about to see so right now, we'll be coming up to is one of the trails we're gonna go hike later on today. At that gate, where we came in, where it split, that was trail number three. This is number four. And you can take either direction, to the right or to the left. And again, it's the attention campus, no vehicles beyond this point. Right, so, so it's walking, ahead, you can bike, and you can take your horse along the trail. But also I wanted to point out was the, how pretty the, the pine trees are growing in between the big trees. I'm assuming that's oak trees. All right, we made it to Crystal Rivers, everybody. All right, see, can we find some manatees without taking a tour? If not, oh well. We can hear a while, we come back, maybe we'll book a tour if we don't see any, I don't know. And it's kind of packed, so it is a weekend. Tea House Cafe, it smell good here. Bubble Q's, General Store ice cream, old fashioned candy, gifts, candles, and more. We are heading to hopefully see manatees. There are a lot of, I don't know a lot, but there are several companies that will do manatee tours on a boat, dive, get in the water, swim with the manatees, all this type of thing, but y'all know we like free. So we looked up something free and this is where Cake is leading us to hopefully see free manatees here. Well, they have the curb right there, man. Yeah, your Can you warning. I'll let you know a curb was coming up. What's that? I say we on a curvy road. They gave you a warning to let you know a curb was coming up. There's another <laughs> one right here. Well, we don't run, run up on. Blind, Blind driveways. Drive. What's the uh, distance to destination? 1.9. 1.9? Yeah. I thought it was less than a mile when we looked it up. Hmm. To where we was headed to. Hey, Palm Springs, back in California. Oh, we forgot to mention, it's free. Free. Free, free, free. Free, 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 free. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a family tourist type thing. We went to another place to see the manatee and we didn't because they want us to pay. Y'all know we like free. Free, 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 free. <laughs> Oh, look at one, y'all, look, look, there's one with a baby. <laughs> okay, go ahead and check all this out. Uh, oh, like they got a lot of things that's, what are, some of the manatee are in their natural habitats and then stingrays down there. We get down there to the stingrays later. Oh my gosh, this thing's so exciting. It's a bunch of them right over there. Let me get closer so you can see it.
This is the type of fish you may see down in here. And the birds. So we come to see manatees. Look at cool rich over here. They all, all look like they cuddle in one area. I saw one of them snout come up. I'm waiting till these people move so we can get a closer look at them. They look like some of them actually have babies. They, they also look like they got barnacles on their back. So they that, do. Yeah. yeah. And then we're going down to the other pier where nobody's standing there. They're waiting yeah. for the tilapia to come and eat it off them. The what? Let me get this. Move to the side. They asked him, we did we see a manatee? Yes, Another thing, if you come here, there is a cafe that you can grab a meal at. We have no idea what's there, but we're hungry. And after we go to this long pier, we're gonna come back here and grab us something to eat. Yeah. It's a cafe, South Shore Cafe. Yeah. The garden is in the shape of a butterfly. Walking on this walkway, going to the next spot, and it says it's a natural habitat. As we pass passing by, there are speakers. You can hear them announcing a lot of stuff, telling you about narrating, I guess you could say, about the area and the manatees and all the natural stuff. But here's the boardwalk. Yeah, that's a nice walkway. And we're going to the other end and possibly see other manatees at the other end, which isn't as crowded as where we just came from. Here's a manatee being tracked right here. Why I have no idea. But I guess they can keep track of these things. We, we're about to leave the Manatee Viewing Center here in Tampa. What do you think about it? It was amazing. It, wow. There's a lot of information mm -hmm. on the manatees, the stingrays. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How they come here every year. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of good information. I'm sure the other center would have had it also, but they want the charges. But right. one thing I, I do like about it is not a place that you would spend all day at. Well, you could. <laughs> not really, it's kind of a short walk on up pier and then a little walk all the way down. And then, yeah, I guess you can spend, yeah, I would say the hour. average time probably about, a, about an hour and a half, maybe two. Hour and a half, yeah, that's, that sounds about right. So it won't take up your whole day, but where to next? Um, time to eat. <laughs> All right, let's go get some meat. All right, let me just.